welcome back to the Talking Lead Podcast. This is episode 190. If this is your first time tuning in listening to the show, we appreciate you joining us. And uh, if you're so inclined, you can go back and listen to some of our past episodes. As I just stated, this is our 190th, so you've got some catching up to do. And you can find us on uh, whatever station you're listening to us right now, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, pretty much any podcasting station there is out there. We're on YouTube, uh, and you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, pretty much everywhere. So uh, if you are listening to us on one of the podcast stations or YouTube, If you would, please go ahead and leave us some feedback. We'd greatly appreciate that. That helps our ratings on these uh, different stations, and especially iTunes. So uh, if you guys haven't left us a a review or rating past, please go and do that. We greatly appreciate it. So uh, last week was uh, episode 189, and we had Dana McClendon, the attorney uh, there in Franklin that came up with uh, the Hot Crazy Matrix so basically what Dane has done with this uh, hot crazy matrix is uh, he's put together a chart and uh, he explains it in the, the episode, but basically everything a young man needs to know about women. I mean, obviously it's uh, satirical not to be uh, taken seriously, but uh, funny enough, you may actually uh, find it useful. So, And then we also get into some very serious conversations with some things that you should be doing or be at least be thinking about doing if you're going to be a responsible firearms carrier. Dana gives us some great tips on legal matters that you should be thinking about. So go back, check out that episode. Had a really great time with Dana, and uh, you guys make sure you go check out that video on uh, Tactical Responses website. And it's just uh, if you just Google the Universal Hot Crazy Matrix, uh, you'll you'll find that video. Uh, past few shows we've had been really good. Hope you guys are enjoying them. And uh, we're going to continue our interviews uh, next week with our buddy Argo J. You guys are all familiar with Argo J. Uh, we did a, an interview with him a couple of years ago, uh, episode, I believe it was 80 or 57. I believe it was episode 57. Uh, so you can go back and listen to that. So we're going to get caught up with Argo, find out what all he's been up to lately and uh, the new projects that he's got going on. So before we get into this week's episode, continue our 2017 SHOT Show coverage, uh, I want to go ahead and thank our sponsors, Frontier Tactical. Check them out at FrontierTactical.com. You guys know, you've listened to the show. Uh, If you haven't and you're new to the show, go to FrontierTactical.com. These guys have developed a system called the Warlock, and what it'll do is it will turn your AR-15 into a awesome multi-caliber platform. You can shoot up to 90 different calibers from one AR platform. Uh, they've got uh, everything you need in place to do that. If you uh, if it requires a bolt change or a mag change, they're going to have everything that you need for that. But it's just a quick turn of the um, the Warlock system barrel nut assembly. You pop the uh, the barrel off, you put the new barrel in, and uh, you're ready to go. They have just started manufacturing their own line of ARs that will be fully adaptable with their Warlock system. So make sure that you keep an eye out for that. And when they get that released, we will definitely let you guys know uh, as soon as that happens. But check them out at at FrontierTactical.com. Cobalt Kinetics, CobaltKinetics.com. These guys have the really cool futuristic looking ARs that have, uh, I don't know how many different patents they've got on the systems that they've got on their ARs, but uh, they are really accurate, obviously, because their three-gun team, uh, Rick, Nick, Keith, and Kalani, are always at the top in these three-gun competitions, three-gun nation, and uh, uh, just proof in the pudding that their rifles will perform. Uh, I just went on a hunt with Nick not too long ago. Uh, Nick started a new channel called The Beastmaster Hunting, and it's on YouTube, so you guys make sure you check that out as well. Uh, Nick and I did some predator and varmint hunting there in Austin, Texas area, and just had a great time. We're going to be doing that again soon, hopefully uh, here in the next couple of months. But uh, check out the uh, Beastmaster uh, YouTube channel as well, and they're on Facebook too. Glock, the official carry of me, yours truly. I uh, rock the Glock 23 and the Glock 27. I don't know if you guys saw the pictures that I posted on um, Instagram and Facebook, but I had some customization done to it. Our good buddy Danny over at Pack Arms had uh, had done a custom request for me on my Glock. 
did some porting and some serrations that he put in it, and it turned out really well, so I was really proud of that. So check those uh, pictures out on Instagram and Facebook if you haven't seen those yet, and uh, make sure you visit Glock's website. Go to us.glock.com, and that's going to get you to their website, and you can check out uh, their whole line of pistols that they have. Uh, as you guys know, Glock has uh, been around for many, many, many years, have a really good reputation. Uh, they are tanks. Uh, you can't hurt those things. And there's videos out there to prove it. So go check them out and then check out their store where you can get all kinds of cool Glock swag. You know, live the Glock lifestyle. They've got t-shirts, sweatshirts. They've got coolers. They've got bags. They've got gloves. They've got just... Anything and everything that you can uh, can think of there. There you go. Some new items that they've got. They've got a cigar cutter. They've got a uh, cigar accessory kit. There's a divot tool for you golfers. There's an awesome Glock cigar lighter. And they've got some new style hats there as well. So check them out at us.glock.com. X Steel Targets. X Steel Targets. For the best, most affordable steel targets on the market today, go to xsteeltargets.com. They have a wide variety of, of different types of targets there. They've got the spinning Texas star. They've got the dueling trees. They've got gongs, all kinds of different sizes, squares, circles. Uh, they've got mounting accessories, so if you need to mount your, your, um, your targets, They've got those there, and they can even custom make targets for you. So if there's something in particular that you want, you know, a silhouette, maybe there's a silhouette of a certain type animal or something like that that you want, uh, they can do that for you. So go to xsteeltargets.com, and as always, guys, when you're going to these places and visiting, let them know that you're Leadhead. Uh, most of these places have a discount code set up for you Leadheads, and believe it or not, the code is Leadhead. So most uh, most of our people have those set up. If you come across one that doesn't, let me know, and we'll try to get that reinstated or get them to set one up. But most of them should have it. Modern Spartan Systems. Visit them at ModernSpartanSystems.com, and they're going to have everything that you need to clean your firearms. They've got the carbon destroyer, they've got the oil, they've got the grease, they've got uh, even products that will clean your lenses for your scopes, and um, they've even got a engine oil additive that's going to help add life and protect your engine, which I've been using it in the lead sled now for some time, and uh, it's been working really good, getting close to a 300,000 mile mark on the old lead sled. So when we uh, we hit that 300,000 mile mark, we'll probably uh, do some sort of cool big little uh, announcement or something like that. So stay tuned for that. So now let's get into our interviews from uh, SHOT Show, continuing our interviews. Uh, the first one we've got are going to be uh, Mike and Jennifer Sedoni. Mike is the owner of Eagle Imports. We've had Raphael on from Eagle Imports on the show before. Uh, this is our first time for Mike. And uh, he's going to give us a little bit of history behind Eagle Imports, uh, his family. He's like third generation. They've got a, a deep, rich family history in the gun industry. And uh, he's going to talk a little bit about that and Eagle Imports and some, some cool things that they've got going on. And then uh, Jennifer Sedoni, his cousin, has started a cool blog. It's called livebythegun.org. And she's going to tell us about that. So make sure you guys visit that blog, livebythegun.org, and uh, let her know that uh, you let heads found her. Then we're going to get into getting caught up with our buddies over at the Sheepdog IA. Sergeant Major Lance Nutt joins us along with Bill Hampstead, who is with FLEOA, which is the Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. And uh, those guys are going to get us caught up on the amazing things that these organizations are doing to help support our military, law enforcement, fire department, EMS service, men and women. Uh, that's going to be a really good interview with those guys. Uh, if you guys haven't done so already, go check them out at sheepdogia.org. You don't have to be military law enforcement to be a part of this organization uh, to help volunteer, donate. Uh, so just go go check them out, sheepdogia.org. You'll find out about all the opportunities that they have available. And then the uh, last interview for this episode, we're going to get 
Big Daddy Hoffman, the YouTube sensation, on the show with us. Our good friend Jody Bauckham was able to schedule some time for us with Big Daddy. So it was a really good uh, interview. Enjoyed meeting him and uh, hope to do some more things with those guys in the future too. So I hope you enjoy these uh, next three interviews that we have from the 2017 SHOT Show. I still got several more interviews from SHOT Show that I'm going to be kicking out. So let's go ahead and get into our interviews here, kicking it off with uh, Mike and Jennifer from Eagle Imports. All right, guys, we are back at the 2017 SHOT Show with the Talking Lead podcast. And uh, we are fortunate enough to be hosted today by our good buddies at Eagle Imports. And we've got Michael Sedoni and Jennifer Sedoni with us. Welcome in, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so this this is not your first rodeo. But no, Jennifer, no. Is this, this is your first time here, right? No, actually, um, I've been to SHOT Show a handful of times. This is just my first time back in about four years. Okay, all right. So I misunderstood that a little bit. But what do you guys think this year? I think there's like more people here than I've ever. Yeah, this I've, is definitely I've been one of a part. Of, I've been here for the past what four or five years, and uh, it's definitely packed. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely busy. It's it's definitely evolved. Yeah, there's so many. Uh, is your mic on? Did you kill the mic, Jen? Can you hear yourself? Okay. I can, I can hear myself. Can you hear me? I'm not hey, hearing you. You sound like you're at the other end of the hall. Yeah. <laughs> see if I can't. You can hear me okay, right? Yeah. When I get on it? And you can hear yourself. Yeah. I'm not hearing her good. Are you, and you're not hearing her good either? She sounds a little distant. Yeah, she does. Let's try this mic instead. Let's turn that one on. You might need to change headphones. Hello. This that is, is way much better. better. Yeah. Okay. So now we, we got Jennifer back. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, we were discussing the the crowd here, and I, I think it's got a lot to do with the incoming administration. You know, I think a lot of people are excited about this. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, I think a lot of people are shocked at what happened, and now it's time to like rally behind the industry. Now that we know that we're not going to be messed with. <laughs> That's right. That's sure. right. Absolutely. So Jennifer, tell us you you have a company. Um, tell us about your company. So I just started a new firearm blog called LiveByTheGun.org. LiveByTheGun.org. Um, I've got a card right here. That's an yeah. awesome logo. So basically, you know, we're curating content that explores what it means to have the responsibility of power, you know, and like what what it means to really like take that responsibility seriously. Um, you know, different subjects that I'm covering on the blog so far are like gun rights, uh, industry news, but also exploring sustainability and any new advancements in tech. So kind of making it like a really well-rounded platform for yeah. people that are interested in that kind Very of thing. Very cool. And you just kicked this off? Yeah. Uh, about a month ago it launched. Okay. So Congratulations. Yeah, soft so, launch. <laughs> so that's where people they go livebythegun.org. Yep. And is it is it an interactive kind of blog or how's that work? Right now it's just we're kind of curating different content. Um, okay. You know, a lot of just new, new articles. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's a work in process, but over sure. the coming months, there's definitely going to be a lot of like really exciting new new features. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with the idea? Well, see, we the funny thing about us is we were raised in New Jersey, right, where guns are bad. And, right. Uh, you know, we we're, we're we were looking at, you know, obviously I've been with Eagle Imports, it's been in our family for a long time, but we were looking at just how scary it is for some people that have never been around guns. You know, they don't necessarily don't like them. But right. they've just never had access to them or been... They have an irrational them. fear of them or un, uh, not an understanding of them. Right. And there, there, it, there's so many people, I, it, you know, this is such a great industry with so many good people, but there's so many intimidating pieces to this industry. Right. If, if you're interested in guns, you don't want to sound like an idiot. You sure. Don't, you, or, you know, maybe you also, you're, you're, you don't have a military background, you're not right. a badass. You, you know don't know I mean? the terminology. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we want to create a place where people can just go. That's like, you know what, I like guns. I want to get into guns. I want to look at guns. But maybe not just be inundated with the, the standard articles about guns. Yeah. You know, the things that. They use the language that might, might be still a little bit over your head or something. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and just some place where you can just see. I mean, I, remember, I was on there the other day. I saw an article about, you know, 
uh, uh, actresses and actors or whatever that are, are pro gun. It was yeah. kind of cool to read through that and just be like, okay, here's some people that support us. You right. Know, it, you get All so, Hollywood's not bad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You get inundated so much with just you know the negativity of it from from a certain side. You know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's just a, a fun place to go and just kind of read just little articles here and there and get educated or you know maybe start getting more comfortable saying, okay, I want to try this. I want to go out and do this. Exactly. Thanks for everybody. You know, whoever you are, whatever kind of walk of life you are. You know, exactly. Come yeah, we say this time and time and time again on this show is that the, the gun industry, the firearms industry, is one of the most diverse industries that exist. And they have been. You know, it's never been this picture that, uh, you know, the gun grabbers and the media have painted of, of us all being good old good old boy bubbas you know yeah absolutely you know absolutely. the white boy the white boy bubba club yep. you know yep. and that's that's the way it's been painted and presented but that's actually the opposite of exactly what it is because if you just look at I mean, if you just do a 360 right now in your booth you can see different nationalities different sex different right. you know every all walks of life are, but, are gathered here in las vegas for the firearms industry right it's because yeah. everyone loves firearms you know everything that goes associated with that the gear the clothes the lifestyle you know yeah, it definitely is a lifestyle that's a good way of putting it yeah you know? and, and uh you know that that's that's kind of what eagle imports is about i mean if you we import absolutely your quality firearms for all walks of life so good tie-in man yeah Look you like you that yeah slide, slide right into that <laughs> slide, <right? laughs> that was perfect <laughs> no but it, it's uh it's one of those things where you know, we have guns. We have guns for the competitive shooter. We have guns for the lady who's just like, look, I want something for my house. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be on the range every day, but I just want to protect my family. We have the, we have everything. I mean, yeah. it's, it's for everything from the, you know, low end to $400 gun all the way up to the $1,500 gun. And we bring them in from all over the world. And we have guns from Argentina, and, uh, the Philippines, Philippines yeah. Slovakia. I mean, it's everywhere. It, yeah. So it, it, it really is kind of just. It's what this company is about, and, and Eagle Imports and a, and a blog like you know Live by the Gun org is is it, it really there's a lot of synergy there. You know, yeah, it, it connects. So it's kind of it is cool. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So um, you guys are cousins, or yeah, we're cousins. Yeah. Okay, all right, because you had the same last night, brother, <laughs> brother, sister. You know what it was. Yeah, no, so. no, we're cousins. We we uh, this this has been in our family for years. I was going to ask you. Can we talk about the history? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, because uh, I don't think we've talked about that on the show yet. So that would be, yeah. I e think our listeners would be interested in hearing the, the history behind you know your family and Eagle Imports. Absolutely. My uh, my grandfather's been in the shooting industry, or he was in the shooting industry for many years. He used to work at Stoger. He was the president of Stoger. And one day, he uh, over 25 years ago, he broke off and started Eagle Imports, and they brought Bursa and Llama into the United States. Wow. Okay. And, um so another powerhouse with Stoger, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, 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 and the crazy part about it is, is you know, it's grown over the years. Obviously, you can see the booth here and, and everybody that's here. Yeah. But, um, you know, for two two basically Italian guys from Jersey uh, started this, this business and, and it's continued to grow and it's just been passed on. And it's uh, it's it's been fun to watch it grow because, like I said, Jersey is just it's a no no for guns, right? right? So yeah. people are like, you're, you're from Jersey. You're, you're, you're I mean, we've got to have people in these, you know, un, un gun safe zones to stay there and fight the good fight, and, right? You know, so if yeah. everybody just packs up and leaves, then they win. It's not all bad in Jersey. It's not all bad in Jersey. It's getting better in Jersey. It, it's getting there, but you know, over the years, we've we've developed a few other lines and brought in a few other lines. Like I said, we started with Lama, which was a Spanish gun and, and uh, Bursa, which is from Argentina, mm -hmm. but uh, we ended up picking up a line from Slovakia, Grand Power, which I know you've talked about on your show Yeah, we've before. talked about Grand Power. Yeah, yeah um, you know, that that's exciting. Are you guys still doing the Metro? Yep, Metro Arms. Is, okay. Metro I Arms. mean, Metro Arms is stronger than ever. You can see this whole side of the wall here. Yeah. Um, and, and, and actually, they... For, for Metro, that's the one where, like I said, there's a gun for everybody. Right. There's a gun for everybody there. Yes, they're doing the llama, too. The llama's now, I was, coming uh, back. I saw this one from across the room. Uh, it's a little llama. Uh, this is the 380. Is that what you're telling me? Yep, it's a Micro Max 380. Micro Max 380. That's definitely a cool-looking little gun right there. I think that's going to it's gonna be a winner. It was a winner years ago when llama was, was in business and was in Spain. And yeah. that's we want to make that kind of the flagship gun for the new 
llama. You know, okay. taking that attitude of this is bringing into, the llama back. Bringing man. the llama back, and this is not your old grandfather's llama. This is new llama. <laughs> can you uh, can you like rule? I think. Rafael may have at one point told us, but for our, our new listeners that haven't heard uh, you know, the llama story, I mean, they were around for years and years and years in Spain. and Yeah, 100 years in Spain, um, cranking out guns, uh, like, for the whole world. I right. Mean, uh, and then basically, they I think they went out about eight years ago or nine years ago. They were, they were finished. Yeah. Um, we own the trademark. And... I have a tie to Llama or a special place in my heart because when I started in the industry, I was basically a rep, right. and I rep Llama. You right? rep the Llama, and, uh, okay. So it was fun. It's fun to bring it back, but it's one of those things where people are like, "I remember Llama." You know, everybody has. Uh, everyone's had a Llama <laughs> at, at one, one point, point in time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we were. Whether they want to admit it or not. Well, right? Hey, we it's were one of those just, guilty pleasures. We were just talking about that. Uh, your friend from Iraq. Right? That's right. Like, <laughs> yeah. Brian Borkowski. Yeah, he was talking about how they would just find them lying around over there. And, we, I have a really cool story about some llamas that that's really interesting. Her father, um, uh, when he ran the company, he's no longer with us, but he had he had the opportunity to get during the first Gulf War. Saddam Hussein had had talked to llama and had to mm-hmm. make him gold revolvers, and he made like had some tw- custom revolvers. Yes, made, for, huh? made him like 12, 12 revolvers, and. Somebody from the United States wanted to buy them, and, and your father actually said, "No, I have the rights for any llama that comes into the country. I'm right. taking them." So he has <laughs> he had these gold llamas. So you got Saddam's llamas, huh? Yeah. Here's the problem with this: the the, the story can't be proven. Oh, okay. But if you see the guns, you know it's the real deal. And I've met right. one person my whole life that knew the story, and he's like. I, I talked to this guy on the phone because I was trying to get a value for him. And he's like, your father, you know, he didn't know the connection. <laughs> he's like, got him. I was supposed to get him. But uh, it, they are so nice that when you – remember in Pulp Fiction when they open up the green oh, face yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you see the gold, but the you don't gold, know what they're looking at? Right. It, everyone has that same reaction. So That's cool. You know, it's, uh, it's fun to see Llama back. Absolutely, but, yeah. I mean, the name is – I mean, people say they just – and they don't think they ever went away, but they were gone for a while. They were gone for a while. They have been gone for a while. I mean, but you guys have brought them back in uh, in grand style, I might say. I mean, those no, are some good looking guns that. right there. Yeah, Definitely. I think so. I think I, I think it's get, it gives people something new too. Uh, everybody carries the same stuff. It's it's it becomes a rat race to, to cut your to get to the bottom of the barrel and cut your margins. Like, a company like Llama is going to give you some ability to make some margin back in your gun. I mean, it's yeah, affordable. Absolutely. It's great. But, they, I mean, they've come back with style, like I was telling you. Who, do they do their own grips and everything here? What yeah, kind of yeah. well, actually, it's made by Metro Arms out of the Philippines. Okay. Uh, the owner of Metro's name is Hector Rodriguez. He actually used to bring Llama into the Philippines, and he I met him through hanging out at the booth at Chacho. He would hang out with us. I got you. So one day we're like, look, we own the name. Let's do something. Like, let's bring that Metro Arms quality now to Llama. Right, you know? with an established name. Yep, yep, absolutely. So I think I think he's got a winner here. Oh, really uh, no, no doubt. I know this Micromac gets a lot of attention, but everything up there is beautiful. Yep. So uh, anything else new that uh, Bursa or Grand Power or anybody's got that's released here at SHOT? Uh, yeah, we got a few new things. Um, I, I think talking about Grand Power as a whole, I don't think enough people know about that gun and how awesome it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, every one of their guns has a rotating barrel, uh, which helps with the muzzle flip, which is truly unique. I know, you know, back in the day, Beretta, the Beretta Cougar used to do that. But, yeah, yeah. But uh, Yaroslav, the owner of Grand Power, has perfected that. And uh, we're excited. We just got these guns into Gander Mountain, so Sweet. people can find them there. Okay. But, uh, have you shot one of those guns yet? I gotta get you one. Of those I, ha- guns. I have not shot that yet. When uh, we were at Big Three East last, I was uh, gonna go over and, and shoot the Grand Powers and the Metros, and okay. the freaking or you know hurricane came in, right? And uh, you know washed us out. So this March, uh, you guys are gonna be at Big Three East again, right? Yep. Um, we're gonna get hands on with those. Okay, good. I'm excited. I've been I've been wanting to shoot the the competition setups. Oh yeah, the X Cal. Yeah, yeah. People yes. shoot that and then it, they don't go back. Right. Whatever they were shooting before. Yeah, it's a sexy gun, gun, man. I, yeah. He yeah. Ma- he makes an amazing gun. The crazy thing about that gun too is they don't, they don't break. Yeah. We, we don't have it's any solid. warranty. <laughs> yeah. I mean the warranty's zero. Right. I mean uh, so I'm excited for people to know about that gun. You know, just know about the brand. Yeah. Like I said, power. try something different. 
try something different for your store, something yeah. something exotic. You know, I mean, that's the great the thing stuff. about gun ownership is you don't have to have just one gun. <laughs> There's no limit, you know? Right. You know, That's some of your blog. <laughs> you know, this ain't, this ain't NASCAR, so, you know, you can drive a Ford and a Chevrolet and be okay. You that know? is absolutely true, so, especially, uh, especially with guys like us. <laughs> That's right. I like, I mean, I, I like guns. I like firearms, you know. I, you know, I have my preferences, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. but I enjoy having different models and shapes and sizes and variety, you know. Variety, no. variety is spice of life, man. The greatest part about this industry is almost all these guys are cool. All yeah. these other companies. I mean, everyone from the guys at, at Block to the guys at High Point. You exactly. Know, and, exactly. And, and if you come to the SHOT Show and you're you're hanging out with with this industry, you'll see everybody together, standing around together. Yep, you know, absolutely. Talking together. It's, it's, it's There's a lot none of, of this, uh, you know, backstabbing behind. I mean, there's no. some of that that happens in this industry, obviously, but for the most part, the people that are solid that are in this that are established already, yep. that's why they're that way is because they don't, you know, they don't do that. Yep. It's yep. a brotherhood, man. And people no, it is. are very welcoming, not only to other manufacturers, but to people wanting to get into the industry, you know? Yeah. Yeah. New it, companies. I mean, you see new companies here all the time and, you know, people yeah. are willing to bend over backwards to help them. Yeah. If you, if you haven't been to a uh, industry show, you need to go, you need to go to shot or you need to go to at least the NRA show. Oh yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, great outdoor show if you want to go to Harrisburg. I mean, just to see this stuff. Yeah. See the people and, and learn something. You know? It definitely, if you've never been to one, uh, the shock and awe factor will be there. There's no doubt. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So Jennifer, I got to ask you. Yeah. All right. I, 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 these are going to be easy questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What's your preferred carry? Handgun. Uh, Versa Thunder 380. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good answer. Good answer. So, uh, do you do any customization to yours? Have you done like any kind of Cerakote or? No, it's little, pretty basic. Just basic. Yeah. <laughs> no, no personalization to it. No. I always have to change my guns. I never just go with the standard black. Yeah. I do something to them, you know. I'll hydro dip them or Cerakote them. Cerakote them, Cryptek colors. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Change a few parts out here and there, you know. I, I'm addicted to doing that same thing. So I, yeah. uh, none of my guns look like the guns I sell. Like right. if you were at my house, you, you would not be able nothing to that it came in the box. It's going to be something different too. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the, that's another great thing about you know firearms is the the versatility, the customization that you can do to them nowadays. Mm-hmm. Where in the past, you know, that wasn't available. And I think that's gotten a lot more people interested in our industry as well because they can, you know, everything's me, 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 me. I want to personalize everything I have, you know. And, you know, that's that's another you yeah, know, right. dimension that they've added to to the fire. I mean, I'm looking right here. Just I'm seeing purple. I'm seeing camo guns. I'm seeing uh, fuchsia. I don't know what color that. Pink. I guess it's pink. Tiffany <laughs> blue. Aqua. Tiffany blue. Yeah. You know. So it's great. I love it. No, it's, it's fun. It's like uh, people with cell phones, right? You gotta yes. Check them out. Check them out. Cars. <laughs> cell phones. Clothes. You uh, know. Absolutely. You no. Know, is there anything else new that you guys want to talk about that you're getting ready to? You know, I think. Got anything coming down the pike we need to be aware of? No, I think it's. Uh, I think we about, you know, went over it. I just wanted to talk about the concept, what Eagle Imports is. Yeah, and absolutely. The lines we bring in, and, and just, like I said, I think it's. Something. Now, what generation are you? You third generation? I'm third generation. Third generation. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm keeping it going. The, uh, the, I have my, my Mount Rushmore, my leaders. There you uh, go. <laughs> uh, they, they, uh, this, this industry has been so good to me and my family, and, and uh, it just absolutely love being here. You know, it is great. Well, we, obviously, we love having you. I mean, your booth has been jam slam packed since uh, they opened the doors. So. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a good thing, right? You know. And then you guys are going to be set up at NRA for our listeners that are going to be attending NRA. Yes. Yeah, we'll be at NRA. Um, Come by, ask for me. I, I love talking to people about this stuff. I, I, everybody's just welcome in our booth. So. The passion, I mean, the, you can tell when people are uh, artificially passionate about stuff. You're just real, man. Yeah. I mean, you got thank, a real passion you, on thank this. Thank you, I appreciate that. And it shows, and I think that's you know that's why you guys do so well. No, thank you for having us on here, by the way. Thank you, thank you for good. hosting me, I was man. Say, no, thank you. I thank love you. This. This thank great. you, because I was uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with the show uh, as. They've heard me say in a couple other interviews, shot show screwed us over, but, you know, it is what it is. We've had that same room for, like, the past four years. 
I don't know what happened, but yeah, I, 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 perfect, selfishly, I'm glad it happened because you're here. Perfect <laughs> example of how the industry sticks together and helps one another out. Yeah. I mean, gun manufacturer helping media out. You know, it, it crosses all lines in this industry. Right. You know, so no, thank absolutely. you guys yeah. really, and uh, let's go uh, sell some guns. No, absolutely. Thank you very thank much. You so much. Take care. Wait, one more time. Give me the the blog. Livebythegun.org. Livebythegun.org, guys. Check it out. All right, Leadheads, welcome back to the Talking Lead podcast and our extended coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. Today we are being hosted by our good buddy Raphael at the Eagle Imports booth. They're the guys who import the Bursas and the Grand Powers and the Abidity Arms that we're talking about, that uh, custom single stack 9mm that uh, Rob Pincus is working on with them. So. Today, starting off the show, we're going to have our good buddy, Sergeant Major Lance Nutt, with Sheepdog Impact Assistance. Welcome in. Good to be here. Thank you, Marty. Good to have you back, brother. Wouldn't be a complete shot show without you. Uh, I feel the same. And our good buddy, Bill Hampstead, with Fleoa. Yes. And are you going to get in trouble this time? No, hopefully not. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) So this is uh, day two official of SHOT Show. Uh, you guys probably had a, a better opportunity to walk around and check everything out than I have. Have you seen anything interesting? You know, this is my first year in five years to actually be able to walk around. We've had a booth with proper the right. past five years, and I found myself rooted there Okay. without the opportunity to really get out and enjoy the show the exactly. way I would like. So this year I'm... Uh, you're enjoying it. I'm meeting people and uh, I'm seeing new products, which is a lot of fun. What have you seen uh, so far as far as the new products go? Anything impress you? Well, there's a uh, there's a system we saw yesterday with interchangeable barrels for different nomenclature on rounds. So you change oh. out a you take a uh, AR platform. Yep. Change out the barrel. Yep. Magazine well and the bolt. And you're switching from anything from uh, AK-47 uh, to 9 millimeter, yeah. uh, 5.56, 223. Now, combo. would that would that be a Frontier Tactical? It was Frontier Tactical. That Look just happened you. to be a sponsor of Talking Lead, and that was not planned, guys. I, that I was promise. Not. That was not. Planned. I was going to take you up and introduce you to it. Well, good, Martin. good so. deal. So Nate but Love. Very impressive. Yeah, so. yeah, very good. Yeah, Frontier. That's awesome. Yeah, so all the products that you've been walking around, you just happen to pick Frontier. To, uh, Nate's going to love that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Nate is going to eat that up. Well, that's uh, that's like kind of it's, it's the true zombie apocalypse. Right. When you're always worried about if I run out of one set of one ammo, ammo what's what do happen? I do? Instead of having to carry around 10 different weapon systems, yep. you got one case with it all comboed in there. So. Now, did he talk to you about the uh, round that they're developing, the breaching round? Did not. So a rifle breaching round. Really? Yeah. And they're we'll, working we'll, on that now. They, they've got working prototypes. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So uh, Gary O'Neill, you know, um, Gary O'Neill, Ranger, yeah. former yes, Ranger. Yes, yes. Wrote the book uh, American Warrior. That's right. He's here somewhere floating around. He may have been up there in the booth. I don't know. But uh, he's been working with him on it. Good. Yeah. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I'm excited to see what they come up with. It's uh, it's a unique way of, of combining several systems into one, you know, semi-adjustable platform. And uh, my biggest concern was how fast could you dismantle and add the needed components, change out the barrel, et cetera. Right. And most of it seemed anywhere from a minute and a half to two minutes, yeah. depending on uh, what system you it's want. It's like to anything. The more you train at oh, yeah. on your system, the quicker, you know, more fluid you're going to be on it. So it's, it's it'd be a matter of training, yeah. you know, getting used to the components that you need for the different That's calibers right. that you're going to That's right. be doing. So. The more comfortable you're with it, the easier it will be. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, Bill, what about you? You've uh, been floating around yeah. quite a bit. Yeah, I have been. Uh, no, everything here is impressive. Uh, nothing. Nothing. The one thing stands out? No, nothing. All right, so here's, here's where you guys got to go by. 
and uh, this is a, a plug for one of my sponsors. But I've got a, I've, I think it's probably one of the most innovative products I've seen to date here. Now I've not been around a lot, not seen a lot of other products, but they released a pistol caliber carbine, which you're like, oh yeah, another you know another nine millimeter AR. But they give you the ability to, it uses Glock mags, but let's say, oh, by the way, I've got a Smith & Wesson also. So you talk about, you know, the apocalypse and you run into different compatibility issues. They've, they've made the magwell detachable. So you unpin the magwell, boom, you wow. pop the Smith & Wesson magwell on there, then you can run Smith & Wesson mags, oh, nice. M&P mags. And who's that? It's, that's the Nordic Components. Oh, okay. Yeah. These guys right here. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then they just released a 308 too. Ah. Press the thing about Nordic. I don't know if you guys have, uh, if we've, have I ever introduced you to Nordic? I don't believe so. Okay. I know the name, but I don't think I've met anyone. They've that. been around for a while. They're uh, famous for their shotgun components and rifle components that they uh, manufacture. Uh, and then they also do a lot for a lot of the bigger AR companies through the years. Right. They've provided a lot of the, the components that they use in their rifles. So. It'd be, a, I guess, it'd be a year in March. They released their line of ARs, some of the tightest tolerance, most accurate ARs that I've ever shot. Wow. Yeah, I was shooting those at uh, the try and buy of that for uh, yes. Interiors Alliance, and ooh. they were in the ha- Hyperfire booth. Yeah. So you saw the nine? I'm oh sure. yeah. Well, I didn't shoot it, but I saw it there. But I was busy dealing with Brian and talking with him uh, about the Hyperfire triggers and right and playing with a couple of their guns. But then I. So Master. let's let's talk about that real quick because I've not uh, I've not had any of those guys on yet. I think they're coming in a little bit, but high level the Antares Alliance mm-hmm. um, branched off from VFOB. It did to continue that mission because VFOB was headed in a different direction. Correct. Um, but everything that we've told you guys talked about VFOB Antares Alliance is that mission now, and uh, we're going to get Casey on here and he's going to talk more detail about that uh, a little bit later. But they had yeah. their own range day. Did you get to go out there, Lance? I did not. I was traveling that day. Okay. Yes, he was. All right. Um, and it was good. I mean, for their first, you know, first event get together, uh, I thought it was pretty good. Oh no, it was. It was a- absolutely excellent. I had a great time. It was at time the there. Pro Pro Gun Club here in Vegas, and uh, yeah, it was cool. It was, oh yeah, it was great weather. But we're gonna we're gonna we'll let them get on here and talk about that. We want to talk about Cheap Dog and Flioa. All right. Today and get, get some updates from you guys, um, Lance. What's going on new with uh, the buddies over at Sheepdog Impact Assistance? You know, another year under our belt. Uh, we've spent the last couple of years, as we've talked about this, coming to shot. Uh, I, I want to say fine-tuning our mission, I guess, if, uh, if we want to put it that way. Sure. And just making sure that uh, we're doing the best that we can for our nation's veterans and first responders. Um, you know, the challenge with anything is when you're helping such a broad spectrum of people, even though they are all sheepdogs, some of our our nation's finest protectors, um, we as humans and individuals, we are very unique. So our needs are unique. And that's part of why our mission is so broad with a focus and emphasis on disaster response missions. But then our outdoor adventures, which give so many of our sheepdogs, especially those that have been injured in the line of duty, an opportunity to continue living their lives in a positive way through our outdoor adventure program, which includes skydiving, scuba diving, adventure races, hunting, fishing, camping, hiking, canoeing, you name it. Everything, yeah. Anything we can do to get these men and women up off the couch, especially when they find themselves in a dark place. So I say that from um, the standpoint of when we talk about fine-tuning our mission, is just making sure that we're bringing the best to the table uh, for the men and women that we're trying to help and uh, always looking for unique ways to engage them I'm meeting a gentleman later today about a bear hunt up in Alaska nice and so we'll be looking for a sheepdog in need that's sitting on the couch wishing he could go on a bear hunt and that's maybe go. something he has a great interest in but yeah. we have our uh, our common core uh, adventures throughout the year you know, every, every month we have something different, whether it's an adventure race, a hunting trip, scuba diving, skydiving, you name it. And you've got one big one that you do every year, too. Like last year was the Yosemite. Correct. We had a, a wonderful time. We took uh, almost 30 
combat wounded vets, some policemen and firemen injured in the line of duty to Yosemite for a week for a awesome. uh, one of a kind backwoods adventure there in Yosemite National Park. One of I was able to take my son, uh, who's age eight, and oh man, he ate that up, didn't he? Oh my gosh, It'd be one of those things we <laughs> hold on for a long time. But his in, his ability to interact with so many of our, our nation's finest, but uh, to see what it was doing for them. And, you right. know, the ability to get out and, and, and truly what uh, is kind of an outdoor temple when you think of so, a place so majestic. But, right. uh, yes, every year we do one highlighted adventure. This year it's actually the Marine Corps Marathon in Washington, D.C. All right. And uh, we'll put a little work in this year. We're going to work it a little <laughs> bit. A, a little bit bigger challenge. And we'll spend two or three days seeing all the sites in D.C. and a lot of these a lot of these fine uh, men and women that we're sponsoring have never been to Washington. And, right. You know, when you're serving your country, uh, it makes sense that you go to the place where the people that are sending you to fight or making the laws that you enforce, um, where they're se- seated. Maybe uh, by us being there, we have a little influence on sure. the positive. But uh, the challenge of running this marathon, uh, when you think that so far we have 20 sheepdogs in need that have signed up, not to mention our members and volunteers that are joining us. Right. Uh, of them, four of the sponsored sheepdogs that we're taking are double amputees. have lost both legs. So think wow. about that from the perspective. If you're out there listening and you're saying, and I, I'll put myself in that category. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I've always been a <laughs> I'm sp- bad about that. <laughs> I've been a sprinter my whole life, not a long-distance runner. So I'm going to run my first full marathon and – the inspiration for me and so many others is, has come by looking at uh, some of the men and women that are getting out there and have every reason not to run a yeah. marathon, every excuse, and a valid one when you've lost both your legs. And when you've got four guys saying, I have no legs, and yet I'm going to go out there and run a marathon, or I'm at least willing to put forth the effort, Yeah. how many of you are sitting out there on the couch saying no, but now maybe will be inspired by these individuals to get out. And I think right. that's what it's all about. And that, that is. You know, that is. And it's being out there amongst them and feeling the the enthusiasm, you know, the, the rebirth, I guess, if you will, of those yes. guys. Yeah, you know, the re- revitalization. I've, I've run 23 Spartan races to date. And every time I run one and think this is going to be my last – I'm out there with combat wounded vets and first responders that are giving their all. And again, because of their physical limitations, have right. every reason to say, I can't do that. Uh, and what we focus on is saying, yes, you can. Right. And so when we say, yes, you can, come with us, and they do it. Here's uh, the I'm, opportunity. Come on. Yeah, it inspires me to keep going back. When I thought I would do one or two Spartans. And How many have you up, done now? 23. Holy crap, man. So, <laughs> uh, trust me, my body feels it. But, uh, again, it's, it's, uh, and it's inspiring one another. We inspire yeah. them to do that, and then they, in turn, inspire us to keep doing what we do as an organization. Um, and it's exciting. You know, it, this will probably be my first full and last marathon. I, I will not be saying 23. A few years <laughs> yeah, more 23s, yeah. But uh, no, we're excited about it. We're excited about the, the mission. We're excited about what we've been able to accomplish in 2016, which was a really big focus for us on PTSD and the effects of that. Unfortunately, sometimes it's suicide. Uh, this year, 2017, uh, we have a true focus and commitment on our law enforcement brothers and sisters in arms and making sure that they know how much we care about them and appreciate what they do on a daily basis for our country. Awesome. Um, and we don't have as big a presence as an organization this year at SHOT Show, but at Police Week in D.C. in May, uh, we're going to raise the flag high. So, That's uh, awesome. Again, part of our effort to make sure the LEO community out there knows that uh, they have us in their, in yeah. their corner, and uh, we as a nation need to make that a priority maybe this year to really they had a tough year in 2016 unfortunately you know when we talk about combat deaths overseas for yeah. years um we don't want to have them come. right here at home yeah. uh, oh yeah i mean if, if that's not just combat, got a you news know flash is. uh of officer down in uh, i think somewhere in texas there just got go. a news flash today so yeah. you know it's continuing i think it's Never gonna ending. i think it's gonna keep on for a while until until the, something happens the, until the 20th Friday. A couple more days. Right. We'll see what happens then. So, um, yeah, definitely. Now, for our new listeners, new subscribers to Talking Lead, Lance, that 
aren't familiar with Sheepdog, just just give them a real quick high level overview and where they can go to help take part. You bet. Uh, maybe, quick, maybe join some of these Spartan races themselves, uh, or they might right. know somebody who uh, would benefit from it. Well, and, and that's the key. You know, we as an organization talk more about the difficulty of finding the men and women that we're trying to help than it, it is the ability to help them. Right. Um, and real quick, kind of that elevator speech. Again, for us as an organization, Sheepdog Impact Assistance. A lot of people always say, what do you do with dogs? When I say it's the human kind, it's right. the men and women that are serving and protecting this great nation of ours. Society's protectors, protectors of the flock. Yeah. And, you know, the final part of our title, Sheepdog Impact Assistance. It's us providing impactful assistance to the men and women that, again, are out there giving so much to us. So, in us finding a way to engage, assist, and empower those men and women, we believe it's through service and action. Right. So that, that continued service opportunity through our disaster response mission capabilities, our outdoor adventures, again, taking them on you know, scuba dives, the adventure of a lifetime for so many of them. But again, the key, key to all of that, disaster response and outdoor adventures, it's all about getting these men and women up off the couch. It's about getting me up off the couch. Right. Um, it's about getting our nation's finest that chance, giving them that chance to engage one another in a positive fashion because that camaraderie of doing this stuff together is so important. Right. And so. Reunite them with family. Yeah. yeah. That, that sheepdog family. You the know, there's many women family, that yeah. we always talk about when we deploy. The best part about it is going through adversity together and you build some of the best relationships that right. you've ever had. And the same thing happens through outdoor adventures and disaster response missions where you're bonding with one another. And you're, again, finding men and women that understand you and what you've been through. Uh, and that's that's our members. That's who we are as an organization. You know, as a nonprofit, we have a membership base where fellow sheepdogs join our organization uh, in an attempt to be able to continue giving back yep. through our disaster response and helping their brothers and sisters during adventures. And they are joining us right alongside. The difference is, you know, for me, I'm, I'm paying my way to go on one of these adventures and then we sponsor or host right. combat wounded the vets and first responders yeah. injured in the line of duty. So any sheepdog, any volunteer civilian. You, you yourself are a sheepdog. I am. Um, yes, you are. I, I, I'm a Marine now of 29 years as a sergeant major. Look at and, you uh, go, man. I tell you. Don't you, they kick you out after, you know, at 10 th or something? At 30, <laughs> they're going to try and get rid of me. But uh, when we talked last year, I was about to retire, and the Marine Corps uh, – Asked me to stay two more years to get to my 30 to take over a regiment, and uh, that's awesome. I, that's I'm a blessed, huge honor. blessed to be not only associated with this organization, but the Marine Corps in giving me the ability to serve my country for the past 29 years, and now serving as the the regimental sergeant major for 23rd Marine Regiment, yeah. uh, where I've got so many fine Marines and sailors that I'm I'm able to go around and meet all over this country. Sheep dogs that are out there right. serving and protecting, but you know it's, that's what it's all about for us as an organization: is giving back to them, finding unique ways to engage and assist them. And for our members, if, if you're a sheep dog out there, serving currently or having have served, and you've stepped away for whatever reason, retirement, you did your tour of duty and you're done, um, this might be the organization that gives you that chance to get out there and continue right. being part of something greater than yourself and helping your brothers and sisters in need. And then our, our final kind of special, I, I call it our, our third part of our overall mission is our holiday assistance program, which mm -hmm. we just finished a huge Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, yeah. Where we, at Thanksgiving, feed thank, uh, sheepdog families in need with a full Thanksgiving meal. We provide them with turkey, ham, pies, all the trimmings that you can imagine for nice. a, a really nice meal. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then at Christmas, we specifically adopt the children of sheepdog families in need so whether that's a again a sheepdog that's been injured in the line of duty and they're struggling financially or emotionally and just don't know how to cope with taking care of their family during the holidays or a sheepdog family that's struggling due to a lost job uh, sick loved one you name it whatever right. that adversity is uh, those children are allowed to fill out a Christmas wish list of their top three toy choices, their clothing and shoe sizes, and we get them everything they want for Christmas. That's phenomenal. And this year we adopted more than 400 children wow. of sheepdog families. In That's huge, Lance. So, That's huge. And, and I, I have to say, you know, you've got Bill sitting here next to me with Falioa, 
who we've partnered up with on a lot of, of different things that we do to support and try and show them our appreciation for law enforcement. But what's even nicer is that they show us the same kind of love and FLEOA helped support that Christmas outreach effort this right year. Uh, and they, they adopted uh, more than 20 of those children uh, in making Fantastic. sure that we were able to give back to so many of them in need. So uh, it, it's that true relationship and partnership among sheepdogs, whether it's as individuals, as organizations, such as ours with FLEOA, right. and making sure that we do our very best for our nation's greatest. Very good. Very good. So sheepdog ia.org sheepdogia.org the website go to the website and we are uh, obviously on social media as well our facebook page you can find a link on that page and uh, a lot of people always ask us probably the, the most popular question i get is how are we funded and i start by saying we use no tax dollars we take no money from state Amen. or federal government uh, it's all through private donations fundraising efforts that we have throughout the year, 5K charity runs, our charity ball, et cetera. Uh, and then we have 18 teams and chapters spread out all across the country yep. uh, and, and growing more rapidly as more sheepdogs in their community want to stand up a team. Uh, and they get out there and, and knock on doors, uh, especially from a corporate standpoint, looking for people that want to support an organization like ours. Absolutely, yeah. And um, again, it, it, it's that that way of us truly feeling like we're taking money from people that believe in what we do yeah. and the fundraising efforts, the people that participate in those efforts help fund our mission. And so um, we're very blessed. But you lead heads don't have to sit around and wait for somebody to come knock on your door. You can go ahead and go to their website, that's right. sheepdogia.org, and they've got mechanisms there to where you guys can donate. Uh, yes. You can inquire about uh, volunteering. That's right. Sometimes Helping the time with, with, yeah, is more valuable than the aspects. money. Yeah, whether it's material, time, or financial donation, um, we don't want people to feel like it's one or the other. I, I'm the type that I, I like to feel like I can go get my time or I can buy something. You buy a T-shirt from us and you pay 20 bucks. The cost is 10 bucks, and 10 bucks goes back to our mission. So whatever it is, uh, if you believe in who and what we are, and again, sheepdogia.org, yep. check us out and uh, the support whether in helping us identify sheepdogs in need that you can send to us as someone that you feel that uh, is deserving and worthy of uh, a sponsored trip, uh, or you just love to come support our efforts, whether through disaster response or an outdoor adventure. Absolutely. We'd yeah. love to have you. Very cool. Bill? Yes, sir. How many uh, Spartan races have you done? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> None, and I hear about it frequently. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah. But but you're on a mission. He's training for that Marine Corps Marathon. I thought is what you said. Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, for sure, sure. sure. Uh huh. No, but we did have a conversation. You said your uh, one of your goals is to get in better shape this year. Yes, I yeah. Definitely need to do you, that. You were inspired by our last episode on Talking Lead with yes, sir. Matt Reynolds. Which I'm still trying to finish listening to. Right. It's a long show. It is. But I did I did warn you in the beginning. You did. You know, I said break it up, two or three segments, but it's well worth the listen. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So Matt has a ton of information uh, to get you strong. Yes, sir. Make you harder to kill. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> So what's, uh, what's new and exciting with FLEOA? And for our new listeners, again, explain FLEOA. FLEOA please. is the uh, Federal Law Enforcement Officers Association. We are the largest association strictly of federal law enforcement, active and retired federal law enforcement officers. Um, our main goals are legal representation for our members if they get involved in a shooting on duty, off duty, um, or administrative issues that may pop up, misuse of a government car or something like that. Right. Our uh, legal team is there to help them walk them through that process and get them through it. Cool. Uh, as well as the legislative lobbying. So you asked what we're up to. Uh, yeah, what are you guys up to? Setting our priorities for that for police week when uh, most of us show up down in D.C. and uh, have meetings with senators, congressmen, and kind of discuss what bills we would like to see passed, what bills we're not in favor of. Yeah. Um, so that's those are long days, busy days, very productive. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. Um, Boring days, I'm sure, too, man. Oh, no, it's actually pretty it's interesting. Pretty ex exciting? Yeah, it's not exciting, but it's uh, very interesting and uh, educational walking around Capitol Hill. So, looking forward to that. And then I know Lance will be down there with us. Uh, there will be. some events. I'm looking forward to that. Absolutely. Um, and I'm sure any one of us will be more than happy to help if you need anything, as you know. As always. Absolutely. Uh, and then the other thing we got going right now is uh, the FLEOA Foundation, our uh, 
philanthropic side. Okay, explain uh, that. Uh, the foundation exists to uh, assist members, families who are killed in the line of duty. So if an uh, agent officer unfortunately makes the ultimate sacrifice, the foundation exists to help that family get through that tragedy with immediate financial assistance. So yeah. they don't have to worry about... Counseling, things like that. Yeah, they don't have to worry about paying the bills. I mean, right. um, where are we going to get the money for that? Uh, so right. we're there to help them with that instantly. Um, right now, we, the foundation is raffling off a 2016 custom Corvette. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll show you those Why photos. Why is this the first time I'm hearing this? <laughs> you didn't hear about this? I did not. Oh, you're not custom female. Corvette. They, they oh, obviously don't want beautiful. me to have that Corvette. Uh, I'm trying to find your pictures here, man. Uh, but gorgeous custom vet in a pearl blue, kind of logoed up with some of the the Fleoa stuff on it. Oh yeah. So yeah. what? Uh, are, what? What's the details on this? Well, it's uh, 25 bucks a ticket uh, for a chance to win a roughly 180 thousand dollar custom wide body vet. Holy cow! Which is uh, we're doing that in conjunction with the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund. Uh, so the Corvette has specific logoing for both. Where do they go to get their tickets? Uh, I. Because you you're looking for it. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> that would look good with a sheepdog uh, logo on it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it would, it would, it would be great. gorgeous. you got to talk to John Patone about that. That would make it very sexy. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, it would. would. Uh, you go to our website, fleoa.org, yep. www.fleoa.org, and somewhere down in the middle right there is a link that will take you to the auction site or the raffle site where you can uh, make the ticket purchases. There you go. And that, uh, when, when's this going to happen? This will be drawn uh, at Police Week. Okay, so yeah. in May is that? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. sometime in May. Yep, and they, so you uh, got time. You do get lots out there. Of time. Leadheads, twenty-five bucks for an opportunity to win a almost two hundred thousand dollar vet. Yes, it is gorgeous. It was uh, unveiled at uh, Shot Show here at uh, Six Hours Range Day. Uh, oh, so it's Sunday. here. It's, it's here. On property, huh? Yes, somewhere here. Okay, so. I saw a car that color. Oh yeah, I told uh, you to go check it out when you were so, heading over there. While okay. I was at uh, the. And Tears Alliance thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was badass. It is I like gorgeous. That. I like that. So, That's uh, great. Now, you're doing the drawing, right? So, you're you're doing you know, it. Yeah, you're actually physically. Marty and I uh, <laughs> have an in on oh, the, yeah? the drawing, right? Yeah. Always uh, crop the ear on my ticket, so <laughs> that one's mine. <laughs> we'll do. Got it. But that's well, cool. Great. No, that's good. And, and the funds for that are going to go toward the... Uh, the f- foundation and the Memorial Fund. Okay. Because yeah, the Memorial Fund is currently building the uh, first ever uh, law enforcement museum in D.C. Very good. They are working on that. Well, all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to be on. Uh, Leadheads, make sure you check out both their websites. And uh, Sheepdog Impact Assistance, uh, as you guys know, I'm a member of, and I am uh, fully behind 100%. Looking forward to... Me maybe getting involved in some of these races. Uh, like I've got that. excuses, you know, day in and day out. But you know, when it boils down to it, there's no excuse. So. No, there well, isn't. you know, and on that note, though, the men and women that are running in the marathon, for example, or even a Spartan race, one of the greatest feelings is hearing the crowd cheer when they come across the finish line. Oh yeah. And the more supporters we have there to motivate and encourage and then congratulate when the race is finished. So anyone out there that just wants to come be a part of such a special week in D.C. Yeah, absolutely. um, Just be amongst it. Just be there with us. You know, and everything we've done, that's really what we drive home. Having a chance to meet these men and women and see how special they are based on the sacrifices that they're making for us on a daily basis. Right. But uh, for those that have, have paid a heavy price when it comes to losing limb, um, you know, that's what it's about. We're trying to capture them and make sure that they know that they've got a lot of life worth living. Absolutely. And, and we've seen so many of them come back from a dark place where they thought they lost a limb or you know, suffered some serious injury, both physically and emotionally, yeah. and think they just don't have a reason to keep going. And we talk about suicide because of that yeah. and, uh, and, and how that's taken so many of them into that, that frame of mind. We've we got to stop that. 
and uh, that's, this is part of how we do it. We, Absolutely. We, you know, the, an idle mind is, is the devil's playground, as my mother always used to yeah. beat me yeah. about, yeah, yeah. is, uh, you know, playing sports or having a job to keep me active. Uh, it's the same today uh, with so many of our men and women that feel like they don't have a, a reason or a purpose to go on. Uh, this is what it's about. So come out and support them. You know, just, just be there to, to say thank you. Absolutely. All right. Guys, let's, uh, let's go look at some cool stuff. Absolutely. I like it. Right. All right. We'll be back, Leadheads. Cool. All right, Leadheads, we are back at the 2017 SHOT Show. Welcome to Talking Lead. And uh, we got some guests in the house. All right. We've got none other than Big Daddy Hoffman himself, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's left of him anyway, right? <laughs> and, and his handler, Jody. Jody. At Weapons right. Junkie. What's up, buddy? What's up, brother? Always good to see you, man. I know it, man. We've been running into each other a lot lately. Yeah, SOE party. Camden, uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Yep. Las right. Vegas. Yeah. All right, right veteran shoot. Yeah. Heck yeah. Having yeah. a good time. Having a great time. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you guys have had a little more time to walk walk around and see some things uh, at the shot show here. What uh, what has interested you so far? Well, uh, uh, the media room where there's a couch to sit down. The <laughs> in the refreshments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard on an old man walking around this place. Man. It's I'm it's tough on me too. It's uh, up on everybody. It's so much to see. It's so overwhelming and so wonderful, man. We have something like this every year. It is. To promote the sport like we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing we live in a country that, you know, allows us to do what we're doing right here. God yeah. bless America. God you know? bless America, That's our right. Second Amendment rights. That's exactly yeah. right. And then Amen. Yesterday, yesterday it rains, you know, out of, were you there? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful rain today. I mean, we couldn't ask for nicer weather. Yeah. A little windy. Yeah, you know, it was just it was just a little on the windy side, but I wasn't complaining. We, we had to shoot guns, so yeah, that's what counts. <laughs> well, we didn't we didn't get a lot of footage because it was so windy and cold. But yeah, you know, uh, we enjoyed it. What was your favorite thing out there? Uh, I'd say uh, standard manufacturing booth, uh, the DP12, and the new things they have coming out. Yeah, you know the. Uh, yeah, they have a new 1911. It's really heirloom quality. Uh huh. It's yeah. uh, case hardened and engraved. You know, their parent company makes hundred thousand dollar shotguns. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, and they're trying to break into this tactical, you know, right. guns. And DP did, customs. Uh, standard manufacturing. Standard manufacturing. Okay. They did the DP12 shotgun, the two two right. barrels side by side. Yeah, I've I've heard of that. I've not I've not actually shot that yet. We oh, were actually one of the first. I've got a couple of them, man. They're, Do you really? They're flawless. I love Loving them. them. Yeah. Yes, sixteen yeah. rounds of fun, right there. <laughs> you know? And they had a, they have a couple different uh, things out there. They had a, a, a handheld uh, little Derringer. Yeah, it's called oh, a volley. Yeah? It's six shot. Shoots two, one trigger pull, two twenty five ACPs down range. Really? At the Three, same time. Same time. So you pull one pull, one pull, two twenty-five ACPs. You get three pulls, six right. six total rounds. Yeah, really, pretty neat. Interesting. Did you get to shoot that? We did not get to shoot that because the only ones they had here were the guns they had to take the firing pins out for the show. Oh, so they were okay. inert. But they're going to send one that would out be cool. to the channel as soon yeah. as uh, we get back. And Can't wait for that. Well, yeah. let's let's talk about the channel that you brought it up. Yeah, definitely. For for our uh, leadheads who have been you know living in the closet lately, <laughs> tell them about your show. Well, you know, Big Daddy, and this is me speaking, you know, I, he doesn't like to pump himself up, but, you know, I think he was one of the pioneers, uh, you know, six, seven years ago to really bring pro Second Amendment, you know, fighting the fight for the NRA and trying to help build the sport. Making it relevant. Yeah, making yes. it relevant and just getting out and having fun. And that's how we connected. And, uh, you know, we're spending a little more time. This channel's at two and a half million views a month. Wow. Uh, the, uh, subscribers that went up, there's several thousand a day now coming. It's over 110,000. They're hitting several thousand yeah. uh, every week. It's so how just, did you get started in that? What, what made you want to start a, that channel? And uh, I live out in the country just enjoying this wonderful port with my son out just shooting. Uh -huh. And started uh, uploading a couple of videos to YouTube and share it with some shooting buddies. Right. And then they enjoyed it and they wanted more. So Yeah. That's Who are right. you to deny them right, <laughs> their right. entertainment, right? And now, you know, we've got this vessel that we can promote the sport and, uh -huh. uh, you know, push the NRA and, and things we like to do. I mean, 
What better way? Absolutely. You know, yeah. And, it, you know, if you've seen the channel, he's got an amazing – that range is at his house out of his back door. Oh, really? So you just, <laughs> you just wake up in the morning? <laughs> yeah, and, uh, it's amazing. You just yeah. take in awesomeness. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, if I didn't have to go to work, it'd be even better. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is that, right? That's yeah. right. There's right. always that work that comes in the way of us having fun. So. Okay. Well, so what's your uh, what's the most recent video that you did? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. We had a couple things out recently. We found some old Shot Show 2016 footage. So we hit, we hit that. Uh, on the, <laughs> we got them taking it, pictures. You know, Marty's a he's a pose. celebrity. So. Yeah. Anytime you're around Marty, everybody's taking uh, I think, photos. I think of. it's Big Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, that's what's drawn the crowd. Actually, the last couple we did, we thought we were, uh, they're from 2016. Uh, we released them right before we came out here, you know, so we had to get them out of the, out before this one, right? Right. So, you know. And, well, uh, one thing that you was can't kinda, leave them hanging while you're out of town. Right? No, no, no. Right. One thing that was kind of cool, we, we did a video, it was a Russian survival rifle. Oh, it's yeah. got like three, four million views. Yeah, this thing's got four million just views on. in like it's six crazy. months, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And it's getting viewed all over the world. So that's, that's, that's really unique, you know. Cool. You never know. Is why. that one of your more recent ones? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty recent. We shot it's a good. Glock 17 that was converted full auto. That was oh, on there. Oh, nice. Had got the little fun switch put yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And, and I got uh, to see the Maud Deuce. There, Maud there. Deuce, 50 cal. Yeah. That's so. awesome. So yeah. talk about that the, the survival rifle real quick. Uh, that's, that's Jason's little baby right there. Uh, yeah. Jason uh, is part of our support group for the channel. He uh, works with the FFL side. I'm going to bring Jason in, if you don't mind. He's going to talk yeah, about come on the in. Russian survival rifle. Yeah, <laughs> this is Jason, my business partner. He uh, also does the video editing and most of the, the filming now. Okay. You know? yeah. so, uh, How's it going, Jason? Great. How are you doing? Doing real good. Jason. Marty, with, with, with talking lead. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. So, um, Big Dave's telling me that you're kind of behind the scenes doing the editing, doing the filming, you know, kind of stuff. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and, you know, Big Daddy's the uh, larger than life personality, and, you know, we have a little crew that backs them up the whole way, you know? Right. It's a team effort. <laughs> yeah, it takes a team, right? It yeah. does, yeah. To be successful. But, uh, I mean, thank you guys so much for what you're doing, you know, for the community, uh, our 2A amendment, you know, keeping it out there, keeping it relevant, keeping, you know, it safe, positive. Yeah, right. We really, really appreciate Fun, it. Fun, clean family channel. That's what we do. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We pride ourselves on that. Nothing goes in, nothing goes out published that is not 100% family safe. We want to show America or anybody who watches that video that there, that you know, people that that use firearms can recreationally are doing that responsibly, and it's exactly. friends. I mean, we're just yeah. a bunch of friends going out there shooting, having a good time. Right. We just happen to be filming it too. Yep. Yeah. But you're doing it, like you said, in a safe, responsible, absolutely manner. You know, right. It's not haphazard and dangerous, and you know, that's that's what's great. That's what we really appreciate about you know and, um, your channel, the way that you do it. Jason and I became partners in Hoppin' Firearms, and uh, you know uh, he brings a little bit more uh, legitimacy to the <laughs> channel. You know what I mean. <laughs> So they were going to talk about that uh, survival, that yeah. Russian survival rifle. Oh, it's crazy. The uh, well, uh, it's the uh, we we just we were walking around a gun show one day and we saw this shotgun that just did not look right. It had two barrels on it, and you could tell it was 12 gauge on top of the bottom. I was like, what is this? Uh, it's a, a Z, IZH or, or IZH 94, and you open it up and it's uh, 7.62 by 3.9. And oh, wow. Big Daddy and I are huge AK fans. Like it doesn't. That is my favorite rifle platform. And we saw that. Right. Uh, we just. Well, in Big Daddy, just much. so happens we're surrounded by a bunch of oh, AKs yeah. right That's now. We're in a Palmetto State Armory booth, so thank those guys for sponsoring us today. Absolutely. So you take you take Big Daddy's first love, which is the 12 gauge shotgun. You partner with his favorite rifle. I mean, it, it, it just exploded. So it was a it was a shotgun and a rifle. Yeah. Yep. Apparently, apparently they're huge. They're combo guns. They're huge. Yeah. Like we were going on and on about this, and we we have got so many comments from the international community, and like. This is something that's totally normal yeah. in our country. We hunt with these things all the time, right. but in the United States, we don't have that, and they're not being imported anymore because of uh, executive action. So sure. it's just cool. And other survival, you know, the inserts from Kiapa, 
those do really, really well. People really, really like those. Those are just uh, pistol caliber inserts that go in any 12 gauge shotgun. Okay. So those are really cool too. So those have been some of the quirkier things this year that really caught people's attention. So yeah, definitely. So that uh, I'm back on that rifle still with the. That's crazy. Is it is it single shot or? It, it's a basically an over and under, and on the bottom is a 7.62 by 39 rifle barrel, uh -huh. and on top is a 12 gauge smooth bore 12 gauge and rifle bottom. Okay. So it's cool. I'm, I don't think it's as designed you as can a. Shoot either one of them at the yeah. same. At the I mean, same. You shoot both at the same time. If you you want can, to. yeah. Yes. So we just went out there, found it at the gun show for four hundred bucks. Four. <laughs> <laughs> and this video You're is like uh, sold. Yeah, this video is hitting uh, hundred thousand of so hundred thousand views a day. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. That is amazing. Yeah, and their sales on those probably in demand probably. They're, they're not making them anymore. They're not being imported. It's just oh. one of those those cool things you find in every once in a while. You gotcha. Know? Yeah. So if they brought that back, if you guys are listening, yeah, you, if you bring find that one, yeah, 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 hold on to it. Hold on to it. They're very cool. They want to see it in 7.62 by 54R. That would be super cool. Yeah. You know, the Mosin Nagant? Yeah. You know, that would be really cool. That would be sweet. Maybe you could make one. Maybe. There's, that's the multi-million dollar idea right there. There you go. Boom. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so what's, uh, what do you guys got coming up? You got any real cool projects in the, in the hopper? Oh, we have so many things. It's uh, you know we both have day jobs, and we're just we're just a bunch of friends uh, hanging out, and we have things coming all the time. I can't think of. We got some stuff from Sig coming in, you know, some some nice 1911s. You know, just here making some connections. Yeah. Um, we just look for cool things. If it's not cool, it's not going on the channel. There you go. We're not going to waste our time shooting it. Well, it's stuff that that interests you. Oh, absolutely. You know, so that's yeah. what you know. That's what you're doing. you have fun doing it. And yeah. Nobody's paying us to make videos. Thing. You know, it's just a bunch of guys out there. Shooting cool things. That's Very right. cool. Very cool. So uh, for the shot show, what are your goals for the the rest of the, the week? You guys got some big plans, uh, some meetings, something you definitely want to make sure you go check out? Yes, uh, we've already scheduled uh, several filmings. You know, but I think we'll give everybody you know a day or so to settle down, and we'll do that. Uh, well, everybody's getting ramped back up because that inauguration's coming up, man. That's right. Oh yeah. Hell exactly. yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. It's gonna be huge. Huge. <laughs> Be ginormous. We came down here specifically to uh, downstairs here to look at the uh, Hudson H9, which uh -huh. is on everybody's radar. So see if it meets up with uh, all the expectations. I saw that. I saw that yesterday at the range. Yeah. Uh, went over there. Of course, there's a big line. Oh, yeah. you know, People shoot it, so I didn't get to shoot it. But uh, I got to you know look at it and it, it looks pretty cool. It does. Yeah. It's it's a little different. So uh, it was kind of heavy. Yeah. You know, it was heavier than I, what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, but uh, like they said, I mean it it stays level. With the people that were shooting it, they said they didn't really have to come off the side any as they were shooting. So yeah, that low bore axis. I'm a low huge. Bore, yeah. We're big fans of CZ and the, the lower bore axis. I'm sure it's going to be a great shooter. Yeah, another one that you guys want to check out, uh, go to the Hyperfire booth. Oh, yeah. And Nordic Components has their rifles there. Did you guys see their uh, 9mm um, pistol carbine rifle that they got? No, we haven't seen that yet. So what it is, uh, so like that one, we're looking at one at Palmetto State Armor here. See the magwell area right there that the Glock mag sticking in? Yeah. Right here? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that piece comes off. Oh, yeah. So if you've got Smith & Wesson, Wesson mags, then you put the, the magwell for that in there, and then you're shooting Smith & Wesson mags. 2011, if you want to shoot 20, they're going to have a whole line of and that's compatibility. Hyper, and that's Hyperfire that's doing that, huh? It's, it's Nordic Components. Nordic Components. Nordic right. Components is in the Hyperfire booth. So go by there, tell them you talk to Left Hand Talking Lead, yeah. and uh, they'll, they'll hook you up with it. They'll show you. We'll it, definitely do that. It's we're pretty also, sweet. We're also looking at uh, branching out a little bit, away, from, you know, not away from guns, absolutely, but we're looking to branch out into knives, too. Okay. Because uh, we, we like knives as well, yeah. and we're thinking, you know, why not do some, do some knife videos? That's well, a really know, cool community. Uh, Jody and I uh, went to the knife show yeah. here, uh, this past year. It was the first knife show I'd ever been to. So yeah. I kind of, I'm like you guys, I'm branching out yeah. you know, into the knives too. So that'd be great. Yeah. Get on, talk right. about some knives uh, after you guys start doing that. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll try to get with you guys to go to the next one too. I'd love to do okay. that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was a good time. What really strikes me is everybody we meet from this industry, from the uh, firearms industry, uh, they one person is cooler than the next. They're just super down to earth, you know. Uh, yeah. it, and the knife, the knife guys are exactly the same way. So the, the people right. you want to hang out with, you it's, know, it's basically the same group of people. You know, yeah, it's just, yeah. You know, that's the other. The knife guys are gun guys. Gun guys are knife exactly. guys. Exactly. It kind of goes hand in hand. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So guys, thank yeah. you so much. I appreciate you being on the show. 
Right. And, uh, you know, get there and in, enjoy the rest of the show. Enjoy Vegas. I don't know if you guys got any plans to go outside, you know. Yeah, uh, Vegas is definitely just, someplace. To uh, see Vegas. It's my, this is my second year last year, just like, uh, you know, walking around with my eyes open, you know, op- wider than I've ever been before. Right. You know, it's definitely something different. So. Yeah, and I mean, it, this show is ginormous. It's, what, three levels this year, I think. Yeah. I can't remember how many miles it, it is, but. It's something like 27 miles of boost or maybe it's more than that. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know my feet feel like I've walked about 27 <laughs> miles already today. <laughs> so real quick, tell everybody uh, where they can uh, watch your channel. Okay, it's uh, check it out, guys. It's Big Daddy Hoffman 1911 on YouTube. And the way I close every video, I said keep up the fight against gun control and uh, sweet cherry pie and remember as always, Big Daddy loves you. Hoorah. Hoorah. Thank you for having me. And as always, hey. Leadheads, keep your loved ones close. Come on, Big Daddy. All right. Keep your firearms closer, guys. There you go. That's All cool. right. All right. Thank you so much for having us All on. Right. All right, Leadheads, that does it for another episode of the Talking Lead podcast. Hope you guys enjoyed this show. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you would, please leave us some feedback on whatever station it is that you are listening to us from iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, our website, wherever it may be. We greatly appreciate the feedback and your support. And speaking of support, make sure you support those that support the Talking Lead podcast, Glock, Frontier Tactical, Keltec, 1776 United, Cobalt Kinetics, Modern Spartan Systems, X Steel Targets, And uh, make sure that if you go and you're buying from these people, try and use that Talking Lead discount code, which is LEADHEAD. So try that out, and uh, if it's not working, let me know, and we'll try to get that activated on uh, whatever site it is that you're shopping from. Guys, we'll see you next week with our interview with Argo Jay.